What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius back at it again with some more House of the Dragon. Very excited to hop into this. I know I'm a little late on this. I've been just super busy catching up on some other things. Very excited with where last episode left off. I did get some uh, information about the show from outside sources, such as the extras at the bonus at the end of the episodes. Also, uh, YouTube videos. Shout out to Alt Shift X, my one of my favorite Game of Thrones YouTubers. Um, but the things that that were kind of in the background that don't really play maybe play a big role i'm not too entirely sure yet but the crab feeder so far we're hopefully we're gonna see him a lot this episode crazy fight i'm very excited but the mask he's wearing is actually a sons of the harpy mask that was used in marine you know against uh daenerys and all that and he has grayscale which is very interesting i wonder if he touches any of his subordinates so uh, very curious he's been doing some crazy ass shit corliss and damon gonna be proving their worth I'm not going to talk anymore. Can't waste any more time. Don't forget to check out that Patreon if you guys want to check out the full-length version of this. Early access and full-length of the other shows I'm watching. Make sure you guys subscribe. Click that bell so you guys always know when I post over here on the Dapper channel. Let's hop right on into it. What is the title of this one? Let me see if we can find out. This one is called Second of His Name. Very interesting. Okay, let's hop right on into it. The Sigil for House Valarian. Are we already fighting? Is this the crab feeder tearing up, finding one of his ships? Prince Drehar. Oh! That is Syraxes. Is it, it's Caraxes, right? That's Damon right there. Oh my god. I love how we're doing this at night, too. Ooh. Damon took Corliss's advice and he's dealing with the Triarchy in a most Targaryen way. He's so elongated. He's by far the most unique dragon we've seen so far. And you have my nose. Two years old and already our boy has killed his brother. Two years already? Where do I recognize him from? Did he not play a role in Game of Thrones as well? That's that's so strong. Am I crazy? Or did that guy who just told him that news, maybe I'm completely wrong, not play the squire to John Aaron who died to the mountain during season one? Maybe I'm just crazy. I'm gonna look into that after this episode. Gotta remember that. Yeah, we have not seen Rhaenyra. I'm curious about her as well. She's at the Werewood. We got Alicent already have given birth to a potential new heir over Rhaenyra, pregnant with a second child. This is... We have not seen them have a conversation since the announcement last episode. Uh, this might, I think this might be our first time seeing an actual hunt that Bobby B has talked so much about in the first season. None of it need be this way in truth, Rhaenyra. It's nice for her to say she's getting the better end of the deal, so. I get both sides, you know, it's rough. Allison didn't necessarily want this. I'm liking the setup a lot, though. This is a great scene. Is this all for their hunt, or is this just like how it's set up out here in the Kingswood and they just happen to be doing this at the same time? That dude's got a fucked up blade. I feel bad for him. Are those lions? Is that House Lannister? I love the colors of all the outfits they wear. You know, they got black for Targaryen, green for the Eye Towers, the red for Lannister. I have a shot glass for all the main houses of Game of Thrones. I do feel really bad for Rhaenyra, though. I can't lie. I wonder, Princess. Is your own second name to have grand as this? I honestly don't oh. So this is all for the hunt, which is all for Aegon's second birthday, which all this is for. So he's just having pretty much a Jason Lannister. And he is having a huge birthday party. Oh, so that's why he looks familiar to the other guy, Tyland. I see. He was the one talking about intervening. 
He is gaming, to say the least. To house our future dragons, you know, the kids that you and me are going to have. Yeah, he didn't want to remarry after, and so he's like, if I had, for you know, like, if the king is forced to, you know, be bound by duty on her, I get his, I get both their frustrations, obviously. I get it. I completely do. I really like the actor for Otto. I don't believe this is a good sign of things to come, seeing as how we know what's going to happen with the Civil War. It's not going to be good. But I do like how before the, they say before the dragons roamed, the White Heart was the sign of royalty. Like everything changed when Aegon came over and conquered. Ooh, that is a sick looking spear. I wish the tip was a slightly longer, but it looks really nice. I hope it might provide the killing stroke against your white heart. And feel herself well compensated for her loss in station. What loss of station? Everyone assumes that he's gonna unname her as heir. Everyone assumes. Many of us. <laughs> oh He's like, why isn't anyone telling me about this? Which would be what? I'm curious about this. I can't think of anyone. Prince Egon. That would fix the heir issue. Because they would both reign together. And Targaryens are known to wed cousins, brothers, sister. Aegon married both his sisters. Yeah. But yeah, no. I did, okay, I didn't. Okay, yeah, I didn't. Okay, okay. I didn't. Okay, okay. Yeah, I did, Okay. <laughs> it's kind of like Jon and Daenerys. Everyone said, why don't you guys just get married? That would solve the entire issue of the succession. And I get it with this. But with that, their issue was like, oh, I don't, you know, now that she's my aunt, that's weird. But this one, not only the relationship, brother, but it's also, yeah, the eight, yeah. So, yeah, I get it. It's, it's weird, for sure. But from a political standpoint, I get where Otto's coming from. I wonder what it could be. A boar? Uh, a mountain lion? What else is in the Kingswood, you know? gonna jump scare it's gonna pop out any second now i'm only talking so i can constantly be making noise so i can be ready for it any moment three two one right boom i oh uh, it is a boar oh my god i mean robert b robert baratheon being insanely drunk missing his spear and then getting stabbed by that thing i could see how that could Okay, Rhaenyra, okay, I get it. God damn. Damn, so that's the White Heart? Talk about a stag of stags. May not be white, nor gray. Think the big lad. For the kill. I do like the like the Lannister mouth, the lion mouth, how like the, the Is that a lion or a dragon? Because he made it for Viserys, you know. I like how the blade's coming out of that, though. And that is the hunt complete. I don't know why they felt the need to show me all that, but uh, I can tell you uh, Nikki from Stricker reactions, right? Nikki and Steven, she is not going to like that. She hates when animals get killed, and I feel her. That was kind of That was kind of OD. Oh. Oh, the White Heart went to Rhaenyra. Is that symbolic? Yeah, let this one live. It looks so majestic. You live a long, fruitful life, my friend. That has to be symbolic in so many ways. Why must every effort on your behalf be resisted as if to the death? Because he means to replace me. With Alice and Pytel, son. The truth comes out. 
The boy you always wanted. My hands out. You, you have no further use for me. Have misjudged me, Delia. Which she truly has. I wish to see you contented. Happy. I agree. Just for advantage, you would have wed Lena Valarius. They both make very fair points. That's the whole issue with this argument. I can't see. I can't argue either side. Must marry. Make it yourself. Touch mine. Find one that's easy. Okay. That's big. That's true. Because he should have chose Lena, but he chose Allison. So find one that you care about, just like how I care about Allison. I like that. That's what they call a compromise. Halfway, halfway win. I don't know about that, but I do firmly feel like he believes that at this point. He, but the thing is, he's not, he said it himself, he's not going to be here forever. He dies. Who's to be like Cersei and just rip the piece of paper? Oh, Aegon's heir. Ooh. This looks crazy. He's like, are there any dragons up there? I see no men with arrows ready to snipe me if I come out. Crabfeeder doesn't trust the situation either. Look at that grayscale all over him. He does have a lot of balls coming out here willing to do this. So this all was a part of the plan. And now Damon's going to go absolutely crazy. Good cover finding. Oh, Damon's nice with it. Ooh. Ooh. Straight cut you down the middle, Sonny. With the arrow. Nice. He got hit by three arrows at the same time. You can't do that run forever. How is he going to make it out of this? Is this? No, this can't be the end of Damon. His sword looks so sick. It has to be Caraxes. Oh, that's Corliss in the squad. Backup is here. It's exactly what they needed, right? The, uh, the fresh meat bait to bait them out on the beach for a fair so they can't hide back in the caves. And here come... No, that's not. Oh, Corliss's son has his own dragon. He's a dragon rider, I guess, because Rainy's right. He gets it from his Targaryen side. I need to write down his name. I was expecting him to be like a, a member, but not like a dragon rider member. This dragon looks sick, too. So I've heard we're going to see nine dragons this season. That's got to be three of them. As Crab Feeder disappears into the cave. Grayscale makes your mind go crazy, right? Like, it makes you go deranged, psycho. So, is he at that stage yet? Corliss is absolutely going ham with that battle axe. Is Damon walking out with the upper half of the Crab Feeder's body? Are you serious? Is that how this... Are we serious now? Oh, I would be careful of touching him with the grayscale, but fuck it. I kind of wanted to see that fight. I won't lie, but I was very pleasantly surprised with this episode, so I can't complain. That was damn, damn. Well, that was quite the end to the crab feeder. Holy damn. I was like, when we were getting to the end of this episode, I was like, are we going to see the fight? We're, we're getting like time is running up. Are we going to actually see it? And then not only did we get to see some crazy action, especially at the beginning of this episode, but that whole plan with Corliss's son and his brother, where they're like, who's you going to bet that's going to actually be willing to give up their life like this? And he was like, Damon. And Damon did it. Backup came. Uh, Corliss's son, the dragon rider, came. He looks bad. All the, all the Valarians with their white dreads look bad ass. They look so sick. That's the third dragon we've gotten to see. Uh, we've got to see some crazy moments from Caraxes as well. Shouts out to him. Shouts out to Damon. Everything with the hunt. I'm loving the, the issues and the struggles and 
how hard it is to come up with a solid answer and argument because both sides have fair points when you're at either Alicent and Otto, you're Viserys, you're Kristen, you're Rhaenyra, you know, then you got Rhaenys and Corlys. Like this has a, a number of story threads all with their own agendas, political motivations. Like this is in depth. I'm thoroughly enjoying this show. Hopefully you guys are as well. If you are, please leave a like. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. This show visually looks phenomenal as well. Um, other than that, check out that Patreon for the full uncuts. Uh, make sure you guys subscribe. Make sure to drink some water. Tell someone you love them. Have a great day, Dapper Squad. Peace out, y'all.